Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. Prime Minister Modi hails vaccinators and healthcare workers for achieving 200 crore vaccine doses landmark. Nagaland returns the ballot box and other election materials in connection with the presidential election. Counting will be held tomorrow. Advisor Mading Yantan inaugurates Chal Jivan Mission Project at Woka District. And Dimabu District Administration reiterates on restricting single-use plastics. Now the news in detail. The Prime Minister Narendra Modi has loaded all vaccinators for achieving the 200 crore vaccine doses landmark. He has congratulated all vaccinators by sending appreciation letters to them personally. Modi said the vaccinators, healthcare workers, healthcare support staff and frontline workers have played a critical role in protecting the people. He said the journey of COVID vaccination started on 16th January last year and on 17th of this month, India reached another significant milestone of administering 200 crore doses. Modi said saving lives is crucial, especially during once-in-a-century global pandemic. Prime Minister said India has scripted history yet again as nation has completed administering 200 crore vaccine doses. From the coldest mountains to the hottest deserts, from faraway villages to dense forests, the COVID-19 vaccination program has left none behind and showed that new India excels in the last mile delivery. Modi said the scale and speed that India imparted to the world's largest vaccination program has been spectacular and this has happened due to the efforts of vaccinators, healthcare and frontline workers. The Prime Minister said the achievement of 200 crore vaccine doses showcases the strength of the democratic, compassionate and service-oriented ethos of the nation. The ballot box and other election materials in connection with the presidential election 2022 was returned back to the returning officer and Secretary General Roger Sapa at the Parliament House, New Delhi. According to a press release from the Chief Electoral Officer Nagalin, the items were deposited yesterday by the Assistant Returning Officer, Krohi Tonio Rio. She was accompanied by Section Officer Gavi Vitoho and Junior Section Officer Kyutia Nyome. The presidential election was held on Monday at the Nagaland Legislative Assembly Secretariat along with the rest of the country. The counting of votes will take place in the Parliament House complex in the national capital tomorrow. Advisor for Horticulture and Border Affairs, Mating Yantan, inaugurated the Jal Jivan Mission JJM project at Lakuti Village under Walker District yesterday. Speaking on the occasion, the advisor said it was a long-awaited dream of the villagers and termed it as a memorable and historic day. He also loaded the people for their support in the course of implementing the project. Yantan urged the community to utilise it with a sense of ownership and take responsibility in taking care of the machinery. He also suggested to the village council and Watson committee members to work out modalities for generating revenue for maintenance of the machine and the pumps. The project was executed by the Department of PHET with the main source located at Chumbolong and the main reservoir has a capacity of one like litres which aims to provide safe drinking water to all the households in the village. Dimapur District Administration has reiterated on restricting single-use plastics, SUPs, and ban on its manufacture, import, stocking, distribution, and sales. A meeting of the District Task Force, NGOs, Civil Societies, Dimapur Municipal Council, and Kanpuras yesterday decided that reports on daily activities by the urban local bodies on SUPs will be submitted to the higher authority. Accordingly, in case of defaulting shopkeepers, penalties of 2,000 rupees will be fined for the first offence, 5,000 rupees for the second offence, and 10,000 rupees for the third offence with the cancellation of the trade licence. It was also decided that five numbers of village vigilance squads will be formed, comprising of District Administration, Police, Nagaland Pollution Control Board, Municipal and Town Council representative, GB's representative, TUCCF's representative and Sardar village councils to strictly monitor and ensure ban on single-use plastics. 
Addressing the meeting, Deputy Commissioner Dimapo pointed out that if the wholesalers and shopkeepers discourage the customers from using SUPs and give them alternatives such as cloth bikes or nominal payment, then the plastic menace would be reduced. The DC also requested that since churches play a vital role in Nagaland, in all spheres of life, churches should give awareness to the masses to control the menace of SUPs. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AIR News, Kohima. Parliamentary Affairs Minister Brahla Joshi today asserted that the government is ready for discussion in the parliament over the issue of price rise. Talking to media outside Parliament, Joshi said Finance Minister Nirmala Sidharaman has been tested COVID positive and is unable to attend the Parliament. He said the government in principle is ready for discussion over the issue once the Finance Minister comes. Joshi accused Congress of not willing to have a constructive discussion and only interested in disruption. The centre has directed all the central higher educational institutions to fill up the vacancies of reserved category teaching posts on a mission mode within a period of one year. They have been asked to fill the vacancies within a period of one year starting from September last year. This was informed by Union Education Minister Tramendra Patan in a written reply in Rajya Sabha today. He said 4,807 posts in central universities have been advertised since August last year, for which the selection process is on. Pratan added that 375 posts have already been filled so far. The country has witnessed a significant decline in the incidence of left-wing extremism, LWE, in the last decade. The incidence of LWE violence have reduced by 77%, 505 cases in 2021, from an all-time high of 2,258 in 2009. Similarly, the resultant deaths, including civilians and security forces, have also reduced by 85%, 147 cases in 2021, from an all-time high of 1,005 in 2010. This was stated by Minister of State for Home Niti Anand Rai in a written reply in Rajya Sabha today. He said the geographical spread of the violence has also decreased as only 46 districts reported LWE-related violence in 2021 as compared to 96 districts in 2010. Rai said the government has made continuous efforts for security upgradation and strengthening of special forces to deal with LWE menace in an effective manner. Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2022 will be held from 22nd to 27th August. A press release from Nagaland Olympic Association stated that a list of disciplines has been determined as per the forthcoming Northeast Olympic Games and also taking into consideration available infrastructure and resources in the state. The list of disciplines includes archery, athletics, badminton, basketball, boxing, football, shooting sport, Taiguantu, double tennis and wushu. Contingents from all the districts of Nagaland are expected to take part in the game. However, the release informed that the sports discipline will be in the form of demonstration sports and not in the district. The registration of players and teams will be done online and the last date for submission of players and officials registration will be 13 August. It stated that preparatory expenditure will be sanctioned to respective deputy commissioners on the basis of the number of athletes representing the districts. And now 20 News, here are the main points again. Prime Minister Modi hails vaccinators and healthcare workers for achieving 200 crore vaccine doses landmark. Nagaland returns the ballot box and other election materials in connection with the presidential election. Counting will be held tomorrow. Advisor Madhanyantani inaugurates Jal Jivan Mission Project at Woka District. And Dimapu District Administration reiterates on restricting single-use plastics. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.